We're gonna do a panda bear. All right, let's do this. Let's start with uh, the upper part of the head of our panda. So we're just gonna draw a curve line up here. Just like that. And then another curve line down here. And then you can go ahead and connect them together on both sides. Next, we're going to be its ears. So we're just going to make a rainbow kind of shape up here. Same goes to the other side. And then, as you know, pandas, they have these black patches over their ears. So we can go ahead and shade them. All right, the next we're gonna do the eyes. So we'll create two big circles inside. The face. For the black patch, we're gonna create a oval shape outside of this circle. Going outwards, away from each other. So we can do it on the left side as well. There you go. And then fade it. And you can actually use crayons later on to shade the patches of your panda. All right, inside those circles, we'll draw another circle inside it. In each one. and another circle, small circle inside each. And then you can go ahead and shade the outside part of that small circle. All right, snows, we're gonna draw kind of like a jelly bean shape up here, oh wait, just right below its eyes. On in the middle. Kind of like a letter J. All right. And a small circle inside it. As you know, the panda has a lot of black patches. So we're gonna go ahead and shade the rest of the nose. All 
and just leave that teeny tiny circle unshaded. All right, we're done with its face now for the body, for its arms. You can go ahead and create this um, oval shape on the left and the right side, just like that. Onto the other side as well. For the legs, it's going to be a round shape right below the oval shape that you just made. Right there. Who wants bigger? <laughs> That's okay. And then a curve line down here, two curve line. And then we're gonna shade its arms and its legs. Oh, but before that, let me create this um, small circle down here. Both legs. And we're just going to shade the outer parts of it. Right, arms as well. And inside those two curved lines below. And then we'll create some footprints on both sides of this. So just one, two, three small circles and a big one at the bottom. Just like that. One, two, three. I like to draw a heart up here. She's a loving bear. And as you know, bears, they love to eat bamboos. So we can go ahead and draw some bamboos here first. We're going to draw some rocks. This side. And then bamboo. So mine going up like that. and then a line down parallel to it. Another one here. And another one on the left side, a bit smaller.
and then inside it you can draw lines like this in each of the bamboos there we go then for the leaves just a line going out and then kind of like a teardrop leaf. All right. Maybe a couple more for this one and this one. Right. For the rocks, you can just make dots inside each of them. Looks like a potato. <laughs> All right. I think we're done with the bamboo. Next, we're going to draw a dragonfly. On the right side, we'll just create this long circle, oh, oval shape. And another one next to it. And the stripes on his tail. Some flying action. So just draw a line right behind its um, wings. And lastly, we'll draw the grass right here. Okay. Let's not forget our sun. And the clouds. And I want to name my panda bear Bella. You can think of a name for your panda bear as well. My panda bear name is Bella. I'll write it down here. Bella. And you can sign your name maybe on the left or the right corner. You can go back to it and color the rest of it and maybe add on some more shades on the arms and the legs. And there you go. That's my panda bear.